One. I watched a great film last night. Two. The film came out in cinemas yesterday. Three. It was a science fiction film. Four. Usually, I can't stand this type of films. Five. But I really enjoyed myself. Six. I think I will watch it again. One. I watched a great film last night. Two. The film came out in cinemas yesterday. Three. It was a science fiction film. Four. Usually, I can't stand this type of films. Five. But I really enjoyed myself. Six. I think I will watch it again. Films today are all about technology. A lot of them are in 3D or have computerized images, making them very lifelike with some remarkable special effects. As entertaining as this may be, I find such films quite annoying at times. I recently went to see the latest Transformers film with some friends. I like science fiction films a lot and thought this film would be great. My friends loved the amazing special effects and unusual characters. I, however, was very disappointed at the film's storyline. I found it to be full of ridiculous special effects. I prefer dramas over other types of film. That doesn't mean I don't like a good science fiction or horror film, but it must have a good plot. I don't trust reviews of films these days because they often pay more attention to the special effects used in the film. I find films based on a successful book are usually a good choice. In fact, this weekend I'm planning to see The Hobbit. My brother read the book and really enjoyed it. I'll probably go alone as all my friends have seen it, but I don't mind as long as it has a great story. Recording one. That was one of the best rock concerts I've ever seen. Yes, it was fantastic. The lead singer was great on stage. He certainly was. Do you have their latest CD? No, I don't really like it as much as their other CDs. Oh, really? I think their latest CD is their best. Did you buy it? No, not yet. But take a look at these CDs, Cindy. I found them here in my wardrobe. Wow, Mina, I can't believe you have these. Look at this old country CD. Can I borrow it? I'm crazy about country music. Sure. Do you want to listen to this old jazz CD? No, thanks. I can't stand jazz. Recording two. Hi, this is Gerald calling. I have read some of the books your callers have described on the show, and they're great. I normally choose historical novels, but last summer I discovered a great book that few people know about. I was visiting my aunt by the sea. I was looking for a book to read on the beach in my aunt's library. She suggested some great science fiction books, and I was about to read one when the cover of another book caught my eye. It showed an explosion, and the title read "Escape to Danger." I'm not much of a fan of adventure novels, but something about the cover attracted me to it. I was sure glad I did. It was an intriguing story. About a man who tries to escape an atomic bomb, only to run into more danger. The plot is so fast-paced that I couldn't put it down. It was a real treat to try something different, and I highly recommend it to anyone who wants an entertaining read. It's the perfect summer book.